We live in a beautiful world with technological advancements and major scientific accomplishments. Because of availability and accessibility of better services, a lot of families in our world today have improved their standard of living. However, there is a dark side. There is a side that most of us don't want to associate ourselves with. This is a side of pain, suffering, and hopelessness. Imagine living a life with no hope, no purpose, and no future. Hello everyone, my name is Amos Jackson Mfangavo. I'm founder of Real Life International Ministries. This is Karthik Rajaram from Real Life International Ministries. It gives me great pleasure to meet you all. Uh, Real Life International Ministries is a non-profit organization registered in the state of Ohio in Columbus. And uh, we are an international ministry. Um, our mission is to reach out to the needy around the world. You see, there's a lot of suffering and pain in the world today. A lot of people find themselves in very difficult situations for whatever reason. Real Life International Ministries, it's a group of friends who have come together because we've seen the need, the pain and the suffering in our communities. And I'm so glad that God has given me this privilege to be a part of this great outreach, a great mission to care for those who are in need. So what we are is a, um, a group of people who find other people who would join us so that together we'll be able to reach out to more people and help more people. You see, all these people who are needy, whether they are orphans, homeless, sick, naked, they are in that situation for a reason. I basically come from India and I've seen so much of need, so much of people who are in suffering. And I've, when I look at them and when I look at what God has done to me, I'm so indebted and I'm no way better than those who are less privileged. And it gives me a great passion to provide and to be helpful for those who are in need so that they can also come up in life. Our ministry is unique in the sense that we do focus on the cause or the reason for that problem. So we touch spirit, mind and body to make sure we solve the problem. The mission of Real Life International Ministries is to provide tangible help for those who are in need. Not just a meal, not just for their body but also for their body, soul, and mind, and be with them till they can come out of that need, until they can thrive and help those who are in need. We are locally here in Columbus, Ohio, but we strive to reach the whole wide world. So we have some efforts and initiatives in uh, some other countries as well, including Tanzania, India, and Liberia at this point. It's not just in India. Our vision is to provide for those who are less privileged. Right in our own community, I've seen so many kids who are in needs. In fact, we help the kids who are in need. We help those who are homeless. We want to help those who are in orphanage. We want to help those who are into addictions. These efforts will keep going as we strive to reach many more people around the world and we need your help. We cannot do it ourselves. We want to partner with you and we also want to partner with different organizations all around the globe. So right in our backyard as well as in Tanzania, be it in India or China or anywhere because each of us have been made in God's image and God wants us to help them. We just want to encourage everyone who is watching this uh, video and uh, we encourage you to find a way that you can partner with us, whether as an individual or as a uh, business or an organization. And I'm sure that you will partner with us because the Bible says that they will know that we are Christians by the love, the love that we share to those who are in need. We are passionate about helping the needy. We stand on the word of God from the book of Matthew chapter 25 verses 35 and 36. Please come and join with us in this great mission. With that said, I invite you to go to our website and look about who we are, 
and see how you can be a part of us. And we thank you for listening to us. May God richly bless you. God bless you. Bye-bye.